My name is Dave Steele. I work for Enamec and I am an account lead within our cranes and lifting division. I would like to talk to you for a couple of minutes on the subject of safe lifting operations and the preventing of falling objects. Within my remit of managing my clients' offshore cranes, safe operation and maintenance of these cranes is the main objective. In order for safe lifting operations to be carried out, there are a number of basic rules that our crane operators must follow before commencing these lifting operations. And these consist of pre-start checks, both visual and functional checks, toolbox talks and preparation of lift plans and risk assessments, setting of the cranes for the current weather conditions and dynamically assessing the same throughout the operation period, and having clear and concise communications with the deck and vessel crews. On completion of the aforementioned steps, and ahead of commencing lifting operations, the deck crew of the asset and or vessel will ensure that all container doors are secure, there are no loose items in any baskets or any pockets that are to be lifted that could cause any potential dropped objects. Suitable lifting equipment is also selected to, for the lift to be carried out. The lifting equipment will be in good condition within certified date and colour coded within the, the current LOLAR inspection routine. Upon commencement of these lifting operations, clear and concise communications form the basis of a safe lift. Any hazard witnessed by the crane operator and or the deck crews lead to a stop the job call. All crane operations would stop until the hazard has been re rectified, reassessed and only then the lifting operations would commence again. As part of ensuring the cranes are in a safe and suitable condition to carry out safe lifting operations, regular and routine maintenance is carried out. This includes both condition and period based inspections and or replacements or to ensure the integrity and reliability of the cranes. I have personal experience in the topic of safe lifting operations and the unfortunate event of an incident occurring due to lack of communication. On this occasion, one of our crane operators was carrying out a blind lift and unfortunately the crane was overloaded due to the container snagging on a structural part of the asset. An oversight that led to the crane being removed from service for a period of time to allow the inspections to be carried out to ensure that the load path items remained intact and secure and the crane was safe and suitable for, for use. The incidents could have been avoided had more time been taken to assess the lift, identify any potential hazards and monitor the lift more closely when in close proximity to the platform structure. My motivation and drive comes from fully believing that incident and injury free is achievable. To achieve this, the communication is key and my, by ensuring that we all talk about the hazards ahead of commencing any lifting operations and by remaining vigilant throughout, we can achieve incident and injury free. Thanks for watching this video. Stay safe.